Hi, Fred. How are you doing today? Hey, boss. I'm good. Where are you, boss? I am at the College of Business at Bodidly Tech, and I just got done talking to their dean. She wants to hire us again to do a statistical report. Cheating has been a major concern for the dean for several years. Fred, but here is something that you need to know. The dean has expressed a concern related to the amount of cheating currently happening at Bodidly Tech and has strongly suggested that whoever is doing this report, they tweak the statistical data such that they favor the image of the university. What? Fred, can you talk to our students on how to write a statistical report focusing on the data and not on the pressures of someone else? Can you do that for us, Fred? Yes, boss. Yes, boss, I can. Excellent. I know our students will enjoy your video. Good job. Talk to you later. Hey class, Fred here again. What would you do if you're being pressured by your organization that you work at or some kind of idea to write a statistical report to favor that place that you work at or some kind of idea? Would you base your statistical report based on that pressure? Or would you base that statistical report based on the data and what the data is saying without being fired? We're going to show you today how to keep your statistical reports ethical based on the data and not based on the pressure in which you are feeling. Today, we're no longer writing a statistical report from a PowerPoint presentation, but we're writing a statistical report based on an actual Word document. You can do this. We believe you can. So, the first thing is to define the problem and list all the outcomes. You should give some kind of context to what is happening within this story for your introduction. So write up your introduction. Next, we're going to collect the data. Listen to some of these interviews that we did about cheating at Bo Diddley Tech. Man, of course I didn't cheat. I put in the hard work, studied, and got my degree, y'all. I got my degree. I got my degree. Good question. Man, I got through college by using a hero. Man, don't you have a hero? Man, get out of here if you don't have a hero. Get a hero. A hero will help you through college. Well, man, Cheated? How can I cheat with one eye? Man, it was hard enough running track with this one eye. Man, I put in the work and I got it done. Man, I am a graduate. Let's go, man, let's go. <laughs> Sonny, Sonny, I made it. I finally graduated after all of these years, Sonny. I made it. And you can make it too, Sonny. Make sure you go to school. You can make it. You can make it. When you are writing your managerial report, make sure that you're talking about how you collected this data. Initially, there was 1,400 data points, and out of that 1,400, you are writing your report based on 100 or more data points. So write that in your paragraph for collecting your data.
Next, we want you to organize your data. Write a paragraph on how you organize this data. We're going to ask you to talk about your pivot table. Explain the main important points of this pivot table and how you organize this data. Then we're going to ask you to visualize this data. Your task is to write a paragraph on how you visualize this data and what is the most important information that the person who is seeing this data should be looking at. Identify the main parts, even include a picture of your visualization in your report. Now you guys get to analyze your data. Now you get to provide a solution, a recommendation, an appeal to the dean or whomever may be looking at this statistical report. Write your recommendation, your solution, your appeal. But don't just write it based on the obvious. Provide some kind of specifics. Get deep down into it and provide a recommendation that you think would work. Support your recommendations, your ideas with some kind of outside reference. Support your information. Now that's it. You can write a managerial report, not based on pressure, but based on what the data is saying without being fired. You can do this. We believe in you. We believe that you can write a managerial report based on the data. Let's go! You can do this.